for the reasons we've said, mental health and indeed well-being, and to take the congestion off the road. So I think let's not ban the car, but let's look at alternative nodes where we can uh, to encourage people to take a, a healthier lifestyle and take the pressure off our road system. And Emma, do you think there are any lessons there for Exeter, or is it doing similar things already? We just don't know. I think we're, we're doing very similar things to Plymouth at the moment. There is a, we have to make it more difficult for people to drive. More importantly, we make it, have to make it easier for people to use alternative, more uh, environmentally friendly forms of transport. So Devon County Council have got all sorts of consultations about cycle paths at the moment, which people, especially if they live around where I do, in Whipton, should probably take a look at. And of course, all three cities do have a pretty severe traffic problem, so it's a live issue. Yeah, I, I would say Exeter has a traffic issue and we, have, we do have problems. I think there are cities which have far worse traffic issues. Exeter is one of the highest walk to and cycle to rate works in the country outside of London and uh, Cambridge and Oxford. But that's people driving into the city from the, the surrounding areas that are causing the problem. So we do need to address this issue. And of course, the city's MP is a great cyclist as well. Seen them, I've seen them yes. in bike at Paddington Station. Right, we're out of time. Thank you to Emma and Nick. Enjoy the Labour Party conference, if that's your thing, and we'll see you next time, but at the earlier time of 8.30 because of the London Marathon. See you then.